Hey guys, welcome back. So today, it's a little bit windy, but other than that, it's, it's pretty nice today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another knife review. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I have here. The tests being performed are basic tests expected from a knife and are performed in a controlled environment. Performance, opinions, and use may vary. Remember safety when dealing with knives. All right, so what we got here is a knife from Harbor Freight, of all places. It is a Gordon Bowie knife, six inch blade here. And I'll just list off what they, they say on here. It says heat treated blade, ergonomic grip through tang, uh, through the handle, fixed blade, and 10 and a half inch overall. And here on the back, it shows here a uh, synthetic resin handle with ergonomic grip for easy use without slipping. Includes protective leather sheath with belt loop, heat treated blade for maximum strength and durability. Perfect for piercing, detail work, and cutting in tight spaces. Fuller reduces the weight of the blade for easy use. So, uh, let's see here. Now this hand guard also shows that it is an aluminum hand guard. And they say it's genuine leather, but as most of you guys know, this is not real leather. Well, it probably is, but the way I have always understood it was that it's the uh, rough side after they split the leather for suede leather. So they take all the inside material of the leather and use that to make these. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Now, I did forget to mention that this is... 7 CR 17 stainless steel basically 440 st stainless steel it is better for corrosion you know anyways so that will help out quite a bit oh it does have that fuller in there this one is a double-sided fuller this is what I'm used to compared to that last last one I did up last month and where it only had a one fuller on one side so this is the sheath it does have what appears to be some kind of plastic or kydex kydex liner inside it has the snap here for it and the uh love handle guard <laughs> so i do kind of like how this snap wrap is a little bit larger in width compared to some of the uh thinner counter counterparts and it's just it makes it look a little bit better in my opinion but it seems that besides that though it it does it does seem to work pretty good this uh the threading on this does seem to be using a little bit thicker threading than what i typically see so that's kind of a good thing there so i think anyways and they still use the press pressed on rivets similar to what I use in my leather projects so that's that's the sheath I think it's decently made for what it is and on top of that this is a little bit thicker I think anyway it's a little bit thicker than what I typically see as well so the knife it does seem to be fit pretty good it looks like it's about 3 16 thick at the spine and edge seems to be doing pretty good as well and of course they're always also always machined edges so which is fine let's go ahead and do uh, the patoning on this all right now keep in mind this is older wood it's been sitting for a while so it's partly rotted so just keep that in mind on this review And so I will be using the natural cracks are in here as well. Whoa. So 
so it seems to be doing this all right well, of course like i said this is pretty rotten wood so well, i am expecting this to go through pretty easily so and of course the edge retention seems to be doing all right no burrs or anything let's see if got another one here this one seems to be a little bit harder so we'll try it out we'll go again uh we won't use the cracks on this one how about that oh yeah and this is going right into where these y's are of the lens too whoa whoa Here, let's see if we can split this limb right here that came out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because it was pretty well rotten there. So, he's just breaking away on this side. All right, that seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah, and edge retention's staying pretty good, so let's let's uh, go ahead and deal with the uh, feather stick here. See how it performs on this. Oh. Well, it seems to be doing pretty good. Edge is staying pretty good, too. Yeah. Seems to be doing all right. The reason why I'm keeping this short is because I'm wanting to make sure that it actually feathers it out a little bit. Because this, this wood is... Kind of, like I said rotten so that's why I'm trying to keep it short here the edge is still pretty daggum sharp so happy about that I'm kind of surprised like I said this is, this came from Harbor Freight so I'll take that as you will and but I'm not I'm unfamiliar I'm very unfamiliar with this Gordon brand so I don't know I, I, I don't know anything about this brand. All right, so next part is the ferro rod. Go ahead and try this out and see what happens. I'm expecting it to, I'm kind of, honestly kind of expecting it to take a little bit. Well, yeah. And it's rounding, surrounding the edge here, the spine. So it's still here. Let's try it straight on the bat spine. Whoa. Well, let's try right here. All right. So right down in here, right below the edge of the blade. A little finger part I guess where it's notched out that seems to be a better option for this because this one to it's one around this this spine over real bad there's actually a little bit of a burr there so that's a uh, kind of questionable there I think but this here seems to be the better option right here right before the blade It's definitely definitely striking more and I do like the fact that they got the edge starting higher and farther in compared to where this uh, the bevel starts here so that's actually opens up a few options of this while I was just doing and it makes it a little bit easier to sharpen the edge too so that way you're not fighting this as well until you get down to that point and then there you got to start fighting it but 
that does seem to help quite a bit so that is the golden six inch buoy knife so i think this is this does pretty well it is pretty comfortable in the hand and it's i think it do all right it just it does seem a little blocky pretty well squared off that's okay i think the main reason why this feels as comfortable as it does is because it's somewhat of uh, uh is that it's rounded the edges are rounded it's not fully squared off that, that i do think helps quite a bit and it does feel a little bit blade heavy yeah it, do, it is a little bit blade heavy so there is that it's not terribly well balanced on off the off the finger here so yeah the center points probably at the at the at the guard or uh yeah probably at the guard so yeah somewhere in there either way i think overall this is not terribly bad of an option it, it does feel pretty comfortable i would uh i would, I would have to run this more to find out if i really trust it or not of course but that's without every blade that i review so that's this i think is a very good start and would definitely definitely be worth finding out whether or not it'd be worth out and out in the woods so but if you do that always carry a backup just in case don't be like me and find out the hard way so that's my thoughts. I was probably uh, probably eight or so, nine out of ten on my books. Let's uh, go ahead and jump on to the video verse. All right. So today's video verse we are run, running with Hebrews chapter twelve verses seven through eleven, and it says, "If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom a father does not chasten?" But if you are without chastening, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegitimate and not sons. Furthermore, we have, we have had human fathers who corrected us, and we paid them respect. Shall we not much more readily be in subjection to the Father of spirit, spirits and life, and live? For they indeed for a few days chastened us as seemed best to them but he for our profit that we may be partakers of his holiness now now not chastening seems to be joyful for the present but painful ne nevertheless afterwards it yields the peace peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it now it's Hebrews chapter 12, verses 7 through 11. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.